Hello there, my name is Sixo, but more on that later as now it's time for a brand new unboxing video. And it's a bit of a different one today as we're taking a look at Fext Hobby display sets, which come from a sister company of Fans Hobby, who I'm sure a lot of Transformers fans will already know is a third party outfit producing quite a wide range of big and beautiful bots. Fext Hobby is basically a range of display sets which can be used for whichever toy line takes you fancy, including Transformers of course and they have many, many different theme versions available. Today we're taking a look at their Sci-Fi 04 display set, which to my eye bears an uncanny resemblance to the inside of the Ark from the G1 Transformers cartoon. Now, Fans Hobby already have a great reputation, so this is something that I'm sure a lot of Transformers fans might be interested in, so let's get cracking. Last thing before we begin, the Fex Hobby sets are available to order now on TF Source, so I'll go ahead and put a link to their site in the description for today's video in case they take your fancy. Okay, well, here's the box, and uh, first thing to notice is that it's a fairly nondescript cardboard box uh, with a yellow uh, yellow sticker just here saying FEX system, so nothing really to write home about, but then what do you need? Uh, right, so full disclosure, I have um, just quickly unpacked some of the contents of this box and taken a look, uh, really just to kind of familiarise myself with it before doing this review, um, but I haven't had a chance to build any of it yet, so you're getting a genuine first look. So here we go, uh, this is the box, as I say, I haven't packed some of the individual bits, it all comes uh, baggied up in little, little plastic bags. Uh, first thing is the instructions, which is very straightforward, it's just actually, a, seems to be just a, a one A4 page, double-sided, uh, and on there you have little inventory of all the different parts that you get as part of this package, uh, all the different uh, connectors, uh, all the different um, panels, things like that. Uh, and here it actually shows you, there's an image reference that shows you all the different types of panels that you get, so the different images, uh, which is quite interesting. So you get obviously the floor panels just here, wall panels, and then different bits as well. So uh, we'll run through each of those in a minute. And then they give you instructions for how to build the thing. Um, and of course there are multiple ways that you can put this system together. There's not just one way at all. Uh, they give you two options in the instructions. Um, so this is where it starts, uh, ending up here with a kind of uh, looks to be a, a three by three, so nine floor tiles, um, sort of fairly standard setup. Or they give you this second option just here, which is a, a two by five setup. So using 10 floor tiles, bit wider, not quite as deep uh, sort of box setup instead. Um, but you can probably see just here as well, there are multiple other ways to configure this thing. They give you pictures of four other configurations and they say that, you know, there are plenty more on their, their website as well. And they give you the website address to go to there. Uh, in order to check that out. So all very straightforward, uh, it seems to be. And then in the box you've got the various tiles. So as I said, there are all the floor tiles here, of which you get 12 altogether. Uh, so here we go. They're mostly all quite similar. So you get a lot of them with this triangular piece across like that. Uh, so that's the sort of more standard design. You get seven of those in this set. This is the Sci-Fi 04 set, as I said earlier. And you get seven of those pieces uh, with that sort of diagonal line. You then get three with a straight line instead. So just slightly different. Same look, really, but you can see the difference between those two. And yeah, that's what all of these are. So seven of the diagonal one, three of the straight one. And then you get two slightly different ones as well. Maybe that looks better that way. Uh, this one is the same as the, as the diagonal set, as you can see, but just one of the panels here has been seemingly removed to reveal some nice robotic detailing underneath. And I have to say, I mean, just, you know, as a first impression, but the artwork on here is really striking. Uh, very crisp print, really nice detailing, looks superb to my eye. Uh, I mean, you, it's nicely printed too. I, mean, I can even sort of see here in the light, it really sort of looks great. It doesn't look bad at all. Um, so yeah, really, really good work from, fa from Fex Hobby. Keep wanting to say Fans Hobby. From Fex Hobby there, it looks really, really something. And then this is the final floor tile, which is kind of like a great, um, great piece. And then it's got these two lights just here. And again, the artwork looks superb because that um, really does look like those lights are, are actually lit up and they kind of almost sparkle the way it's been designed. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, so looking forward to, to getting all of those assembled. You then have your, your wall pieces as well. Uh, and actually there are two types of wall pieces. So there are, 
I'm just double checking, but there are 14 of the main size, uh, and then there are four of the slightly smaller one. So, uh, and there the seems to be much more variation in terms of the design on the wall pieces as well. Um, I think the size, different is, the size difference is just that a couple of them, four of them, are just slightly wider. I don't even think from what I can see in the instructions that it's that much. Uh, I think it's for where they meet in corners like that so that one of them can just slightly go behind the other to kind of, you know, not have a, a noticeable seam or what have you in the, in the corners. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just take a quick look at the uh, different designs that are available. So I think the wall panels look really ace, has to be said. So as I say, 18 wall panels altogether, four of them, slightly different size than the others. A lot of these with these little arrows and vents and things like that. Some slightly different ones. They all look really cool. As I say, I like the lights, I like the little vents. I don't know if this is, uh, I presume that they're designed on a computer. They almost look hand-drawn, I don't know, or painted or something. I'm not, by f I'm certainly not an expert with that kind of thing, but they, they really look superb. Come back to those two in just a minute. Here are the rest, just to show you all of them. There's some that are definitely the same as others. There we go, I think we've seen that one already. Then there are these two, which look really cool. So they both have different things going on. This one has a bit of a computer panel at the top here, as you can see. Uh, it looks really, really cool. It's um, got some nice detailing, really very crisp um, detail on here, the numbers, little symbols, things like that. It's obviously meant to be, you know, like a computer screen uh, with a little keypad underneath. Looks superb, really, really cool. Uh, and I like the, the kind of glare effect that they've got on there as well, which I think uh, is a nice touch, it kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic. Then you get this one which is, uh, I don't know, almost like an airlock or something, or at least a window, maybe out into space, if you imagine that this is like the internal of a, you know, internal uh, part of a spaceship or something. I don't know, whatever you want your imagination, uh, you know, wherever you want your imagination to take you, I guess. But again, it's got that kind of glare going on in the window just there. It could be a computer panel, of course, just with a, a space background if you, if you prefer. And then these two are obviously designed to work together. They go together like that. And then that is kind of the main computer console, which, you know, this whole set has a very distinct arc vibe from um, the original Transformers cartoon, uh, the inside of the arc. The orange really does that for me anyway. And this main computer section will look very reminiscent, I'm sure, for a lot of fans of that cartoon, uh, no doubt. But again, it's very striking. The colors are great. They really pop in hand. Uh, and this panel particularly is just beautifully done, really st stunningly printed. Love it. So those are the wall panels. Uh, then you get ceiling panels as well, and I've just unwrapped a couple of these, but these are for the ceiling. They go on top like that. And these are noticeably clear plastic, translucent plastic, uh, which still feels very nice and sturdy, really, really good. Not, not pliable at all, uh, which is great, uh, and not brittle, certainly. Um, and, and I think this is clear plastic, you know, presumably so that when you have it on top like that, uh, that the light, if you have light shining down from above, that it, you know, you can still see the toys uh, underneath it sort of nicely lit up and that they're not cast in shadow. So that's a, a well thought through touch, uh, I think, in, in regards to this set. Uh, so we'll take a look at those properly in just a minute. Uh, you then get, I'm going to come back to these in just a minute, you get lots of connector pieces. So, I mean, whole different... <laughs> This is obviously how all the different panels hold together, but lots of different styles of connecting pieces that you can see just here. Some are more obvious as to what they do than others, but uh, now just to show you kind of how this set works, you take a little connector piece like this, very straightforward, um, and you know, it really is quite reminiscent of Lego. You know, if you grew up or, or still do collect Lego, then you'll have no trouble with this set, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, you just kind of you can see there's holes on the bottom of each of these panels. This is a floor piece, just clip like two of them together. Very straightforward. And already that's, you know, that's two done there and they're holding together quite nicely. Uh, and I, from what I can see in the instructions, you know, you, you literally put these little connector pieces on every corner. Uh, so there would be one going here as well to make sure that those are held together sturdily. Um, and then with the wall panels, they don't have the same 
uh, holes underneath, but they've got little plugs that can fit into there. So there is a bit of distinction between the wall panels and the floor panels, for sure. I'm not sure that you can necessarily mix and match, but I guess you shouldn't need to. So there you go. Already we've got the computer section done up. I mean, that took next to no time. Um, it really did take no time. Uh, and that already feels quite sturdy. You would then have, uh, you know, like a corner piece that goes on there. So you've got little pegs to go into the bottom of the floor piece and little holes for the pegs on the back of the wall piece. So that would clip on there like that and kind of hold it all a bit more securely. But that gives you a very quick idea of, of how that all plugs together. Uh, and then of course you, you'd have the ceiling bit on top. What is also very cool is that there's uh, clear connector pieces for the, the ceiling tiles. You see, just to, you know, not break the illusion of that. And then you get these pieces, which I believe, looking at the instructions, are for connecting the walls so that you can then connect another wall piece on top like that. Uh, and they kind of have this strip bit here, which will be visible, but that obviously fills in uh, to make sure that there's no gap there as well. So, um, you know, all pretty straightforward. I'll have a go at building it in just a sec. What I do think is really cool then are these pieces, which um, kind of turn it from being just a fairly, I guess, straightforward display, albeit very nice looking display piece, to something a little bit more interactive. Um, and these are essentially columns that you can then put one of the floor tiles on top of for like a slight, you know, sort of raised section or mezzanine, whatever you want to sort of think of it as. So I think what you do here is if you've got one of your floor pieces, these should, oh, hang on, maybe that's that way, get them the right way up. They just plug very simply, if you can find it, there we go, into the floor tile. And then you take another one and plug it into the bottom. And there you go. That gives you a good idea. And then obviously you'd have a lot more floor tiles, you know, underneath here and everywhere else and wall panels behind it. But it kind of gives you that raised section. So, you know, you could have one toy on top, one underneath. Uh, I think that's really, really cool. That looks great uh, and works quite well. Just adds a bit of variation to the, the whole system. So, so yeah, overall first impressions uh, from just looking at the set is that it's it feels really good quality. I mean, the, the all of the panels feel really, really nice. The drawings are crisp, really good printing. Uh, and honestly, yeah, just can't wait to get cracking with it. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to get the thing built. I'm not going to put you through whilst I stumble along doing it. Uh, I'll get it into one of the configurations and we'll take a quick look at it. OK. OK, so that's all built up there. Uh, looking pretty good, too. I'm really happy with how that's turned out. Uh, in the end, I went for option number two in terms of uh, configuration, uh, purely because it's a little bit wider. Uh, so it uses all, well, it uses 10 floor tiles, as you can see just there. Um, but it gives you a little bit more width. Uh, it's not quite as deep. The other can, main configuration that they offer for you is three deep, but then only three wide. Uh, and I really wanted to have a bit of width here to be able to fit a few more toys in and show you what that looks like. Uh, so that's what I've gone for, but ultimately it's your own personal preference. And beyond that, you can get as creative as you, as you really want. Uh, so as I already mentioned in the review, you can see the floor panels here wall panels all around, and the clear, clear plastic ceiling tiles up top. Um, and yeah, it really wasn't a difficult build at all. Uh, as I already sort of showed you, um, you know, all of the various pieces clipped together. There are connector pieces quite literally all around this thing. You can see this little strip in the middle here, which is those, uh, the piece that connects the two uh, sets of walls wall tiles together. You can see uh, underneath here and all around, and on the top just here, uh, all of these, um, little tiles that connect uh, all of the floor and ceiling tiles together and, and make sure that everything's nice and sturdy. Um, and, you know, touch wood, everything feels pretty robust. There's a little bit of give and take, uh, you know, if you really, <laughs> really go for it. Uh, but, you know, honestly, it feels very sturdy. You can pick this thing up and move it around and it's not going to come apart. Um, uh, if anything, you know, the, I, I did make a bit of a mistake putting it together at one point. It just shows you that reading the instructions is important because there's a very specific way that some of the pieces in the corner need to go together. You need to put in uh, one of the panels first and then the other one in order for them to overlap. And I, I slightly missed that and had to go back and redo it. 
So actually getting the thing apart is probably more of a challenge than it is actually building it, uh, as I discovered. But still, it's perfectly perfectly doable. It's just, you know, it, it just really to kind of make the point of how robust this thing is actually overall. So this is what I've gone for. And again, you know, the, the printing on this looks superb. I mean, the, the computer section here really draws the eye. That's the kind of the main draw, I guess, here. Uh, you might want to spread them out a little bit, uh, have a bit more logic with, you know, how your floor tiles go with the arrows. I'll leave that up to you. But this is just what I've kind of quickly assembled there. And I really like it. Really appreciate these different floor panels with the, the grates and the, um, the slight exposed uh, section here. Uh, and again, gives me a distinct G1 cartoon, uh, Transformers cartoon arc vibe uh, with the computer, the orange pieces, everything there. Um, maybe you want it as a generic sci-fi base, that's up to you. Uh, or indeed, you know, maybe you fancy the purple set of this that they do, or there's a gray set. Uh, you know, lots of other colors, lots of other designs as well. There are some that are made to look more like streets, you know, houses, that kind of thing. Uh, lots and lots of variation. This is just the one that, um, to me, has a real distinct uh, Autobot Transformers vibe. So. so to that end, let's go ahead and compare it with a few toys. Now on their website, uh, Fixed Hobby themselves use this guy, MP44 Convoy, Optimus Prime if you prefer. Uh, he's the same height as MP10, so if you have that as your masterpiece Optimus Prime, then that should give you a good indication of, of how he looks there. Uh, really, really nice. Particularly the blue sections on this guy really pop against that orange, uh, which is great. So it um, gives you a good, good indication. Uh, but of course, he wouldn't be home alone, so let's uh, throw in a couple more guys. So here's Masterpiece Wheeljack and Masterpiece Hound. We'll have them chilling out by the computer just there. And let's throw in, why not, for good measure, Masterpiece MP45 Bumblebee, a later Bumblebee divisive figure that he is. So there you go, a uh, good little selection of bots. Gives you a good idea, they're just chilling out in their, in their base. Um, and I think that looks great, honestly. I mean, you could have this as a real centerpiece in your display. Uh, you could, of course, and I, you know, I haven't mentioned, but in case it's not obvious, you can get several sets and combine them all together to have something really, really big. And I think that would just look awesome. Uh, you could even have one next to the other. You know, you could have this set and the purple kind of more Decepticon-y set next to it if you wanted to do that as well. Uh, I guess I guess it kind of depends on what you're going for in terms of display and how big your collection is ultimately. But there's a lot of options here. Uh, and these guys look really, really cool. Um, digging that quite a bit. Uh, here's as a, a little teaser, but I've got another video on the way, uh, which I shot yesterday. I haven't finished it yet, but here's uh, Fans Toys uh, Iceman, who just arrived as well, so he's on the way, just to give you an idea. He's actually surprisingly large. I was not, even though I have Goose there, one of their other area bots, I wasn't expecting him to be quite as big as he is. But you can see that you can fit quite a few different figures in there. And of course, you again, you could get a couple of sets if you want to get some bigger, bigger... Um, robots in there as well. Nothing stopping you. So I think um, it's a good test in terms of a masterpiece collection. Uh, looks really, really good. Uh, but of course, it may not be masterpiece that you're going for. Maybe you prefer a bit more of a G1 vibe. So here's G1, Optimus Prime. There he is, the OG. And let's stick him with G1 Skids, who's always terrifically undervalued, I find. Never gets any love. One of my personal favorites, G1 Tracks. And why not? G1 Red Alert. There you go. It's for a bit of variation. So here are the, the original guys chilling out in the base. Uh, and again, it works really, really well. Obviously, they're quite a bit smaller than Masterpiece scale. Not that G1 ha really has a scale of its own, but typically the, the toys are smaller, of course. Uh, if anything, it, it probably works better because they're kind of more eye level with the computer. Uh, section of the computer screen there. Um, but you know, you have it how you want it. <laughs> so, uh, so that gives you a good idea. There you go. That's G1. I don't uh, have any size suitable Earthrise figures, I don't think, uh, sadly. Uh, I think it'd be a bit of a challenge to fit Scorpnock in there, and he wouldn't really look at home anyway. But let's try a few, for a bit of variation, a few Unicron Trilogy uh, chaps instead. There we go, there's Micron Legend, or Armada Convoy, if you prefer, and Hoist. And just for a bit of mixing it up, here's Superlink or Energon Rodimus. There you go. 
<laughs> just for a bit of variation. And again, they look really, really cool. Just gives you an idea. So yeah, overall, I think I'm really impressed with how this set comes together. Um, very, I guess, sort of straightforward idea, but done really nicely by Fex Toppy. Uh, really, really good execution. Very nice materials, really good printing, lovely design. They've really kind of added a lot of attention to detail in the different sections and different ways that it looks. Uh, you know, things like the um, the clear roof and what have you as well. So yeah, overall, really, really good. And I can't wait to, to take some photos uh, with this set as well. So I'm going to go ahead and have a little play with it, get the camera on it, um, take a look at some photography, uh, and then uh, see how that looks. So having assembled this set and played around with it a bit, I can honestly say that I think it's really well made and a great purchase if you're looking for a decent backdrop for your collection. I've had great fun using it for photographs too, and it looks awesome in the background behind a wide range of different toys. I really like the interactivity with stuff like the raised platform section, although even just using it as a simple backdrop, it's really hard to not be impressed with how nice it looks in hand. Ultimately, Fex Toby have many more sets available besides this orange Sci-Fi 04 example, so it's definitely worth checking out what they have to offer in case you're interested. I've already got my eye on a purple set too. So that's Fex Toby display sets. As I say, I'll put the link to TF Source's site in the video description, and I'm sure I'll be using this set in the background of a lot of reviews moving forward. Thanks again for watching, and if you haven't yet, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and maybe check out my other videos whilst you're at it. Quick final shout out to everyone who already supports me on Patreon. Details are coming up at the end of the video in just a moment. Otherwise, that's it from me, so enjoy the rest of your day. TTFN. TTFN.